Now that the presentation has started, I expect there to be no more talking. Are we clear? Hello, everybody! Today, we are going to go behind the scenes and learn about how I make the Spectres of Sodor. Now, only two episodes have been completed, but from the information that I have, I am going to describe how I make the series as best as I can. Now, before we dive into that, I'm going to interview myself. So where did I get the idea for Spectres of Sodor? Well, during summer of 2022, I lost interest in making videos after going to a summer camp. But that didn't mean I was hobbyless for the rest of the summer. During that time, I was getting closer to God, and I also had a small hobby of listening to podcasts. And I really listened to 6 Minutes, and I forgot how much I love it. You were alive! Thank God. One day a thought struck me. Hmm... What if I make a podcast about Thomas the Tank Engine? And no, I don't mean just a podcast where I talk about Thomas the Tank Engine. These aren't bad, but for me, I'm really more interested in stories. So, I decided to make an adventure podcast. I'm not going to go into every detail about why I made which decision and all that, because you really clicked on this video to learn how I made the Spectres of Sodor, not why I made the Spectres of Sodor. So, let's dive into the how. The first step is writing a script. Now when writing a script, you want to make sure you have your dialogue as original as possible. Don't just look at something else on YouTube and then just use all the dialogue from that. You want to think of what the dialogue should be off the top of your head. Now when a character is talking, I like to put the name of the character next to the line they say. That way I don't get confused when sending out the lines to the people who are voicing the character. And I also like to color code the names. That way they don't just blend into the background like all the other lines. So that way, I can remember, Hey, Percy's green! He must say this line. And I also use different shades of green to make sure that I don't get confused because we all know there's more than one green engine on the island of Sodor. Another thing that I need to mention is that the length of the episode is the length of one Google Docs page. So when I run out of room on that page, it's time to end that episode on a cliffhanger. And if I can't yet, I go back and I cut out bits of dialogue that aren't really important to the story. Another thing that's really important to think about when writing episodes for a series is the universe you're dealing with. I like to stay very specific to my Island of Sodor map that I'm using for this timeline. In fact, I actually made a mistake in one of the episodes that retcons something on the map, so I had to change the location of something on the map just so it would make sense in the timeline. You don't want to do this. You need to take into consideration your universe and where everything is located. So don't make my mistake, please. And something I'd suggest doing when you're done with your script is having a friend or two look it over. That way, they can suggest ideas, and if there's something that's in there that they don't like or that you find that you're not proud of, you can go back and change it before it's too late. Once I was done with my script, I decided it was time to hire some voice actors. Now I used two different methods for hiring voice actors. One was I posted a video on my channel saying that I needed voice actors for the Inspectors of Sodor. And for the people who were interested in voice acting, they could comment below saying that they were interested. And after a month, I ended the casting call. Then I selected the voice actors who I thought did the best auditions and assigned them their characters. And those people who didn't get a role, got a chance to voice bonus characters. And not all of them responded, but I did try to reach out to each individual one to give them all a fair chance. My second method was I just asked people at my school if they wanted to voice act. And I did hold this sign on my head so people could come over to me and tell me if they were interested. And yes, this sign does say podcast voice actors needed. Now it was time to give people their lines. And I put all of the characters' lines into another document where I separated them with each character. And once the lines were all divided, I was able to send each person their character's lines. And now, it was time for the waiting process. And... Now most of the people have done their lines, and I was able to put together the first two episodes. After recording themselves saying the lines, most people would send their lines through YouTube, but those then sent them from Discord, or text messages, or they straight up did them in my editing app, I would go to a separate file with all of the lines needed for the production. And then, I would insert them into the episodes by screen recording them. And for the people who submitted their lines through YouTube, I would bring out my phone and put it next to my camera, and then I would use the voice tool to record the lines from my phone. And this is also how I would put music and sound effects into my episodes. 
And now, for the longest part, uploading. In order to upload with Video Shop, first you click the small arrow at the top right corner of the screen, and then you press YouTube, and then wait for it to prepare to export. Once you've selected the account you want to upload your video to, you then wait for the video to save in Video Shop. I'm going to do a jump cut because this is a long process, but make sure you don't turn off your device while you're doing this. Once your video saves, it's now time to add the title. Now for this, I'm just going to title it The Spectres of Sodor, Hashtag 2. I would write Episode 2, but I feel like that would be too long of a title, so I just went with Hashtag instead. After the title, then comes the description. Now, I always make sure I put Thomas and Friends' is owned by Mattel and no money is being made off this video in the description, so that way I don't get copyrighted. At least I hope. And this is also where I put all the credits, since the credits won't be read aloud until the final episode. Once this is done, I label the category as entertainment, and I also make sure the video is unlisted. Now, you could make it public if you want, but I make it unlisted because I like to have all 10 episodes complete and then release them all in a big batch. And once your thumbnail is good, you're pretty much done. Now, you just press publish and wait for the video to upload to YouTube. And this is also a long process. But once it's published, it's published, and I'm done. That's how I make an episode of Spectres of Sodor. But wait, there's a small bonus at the end. I want to showcase something that I haven't showcased on YouTube yet, but my test audience has seen a glimpse of. I showed the first two episodes to my test audience, but they were rather confused on what was happening in the story. So rather than just remaking the episodes, I went on to Google and I looked up images of the original props from the Thomas the Tank Engine model series. And with a few creative liberties, I put them into Google Slides, and I made my own props that I could use to recreate the episodes with visuals. I wouldn't say recreate as in rewriting the episodes, I'm simply retelling it with visuals. That way, nobody will get confused, and they can judge the story for what it is. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload these to YouTube or not. I might make some sort of read-along book with them, but who knows? Only time will tell. And there we have it. That's not only how I make the Spectres of Sodor, but how I made my Google Slides projects for Thomas the Tank Engine as well. Now, I know what you might be thinking. When is Spectres of Sodor actually going to come out? Right now, the release date is around May, but those plans might fall through because a few people still haven't done their lines yet. And until those people do their lines, there's not much I can do. But... I will work on the episodes as much as I can until then. So, I promise, Spectres of Sodor will be complete and will be fully uploaded. There is no chance of me cancelling it. Anyway, with that being said, there's nothing left to do but say my catchphrase. I have nothing else to say, but goodbye everyone!